Emily. Uh, Woody, I don't, I don't want to say where's your frustration level, but how, how frustrating is it to, to have started this way this season? Yeah, I mean, I, I hate losing. So and I think everybody in that clubhouse hates losing. Um, it is frustrating. You know, I know these guys have put a lot of work, especially on the pitching side. Um, it's, a, it's, it's something we're going to have to get through. And, you know, those innings are critical. You know, we have a bridge inning right there, the sixth inning. We, starter gave us a chance to win a game. And, you know, we got to come out and what happened today can't happen. And I know, I, you know I'm, I'm going to keep saying it until we, we get it right. Um, if we get beat, we get beat. We get hit, we get hit. But, you know, the free passes in, in that inning set up the entire inning. And it put King in a tough spot. It puts the whole team in a tough spot. Um, we have to attack the strike zone. Um, I know it's it's going to get nauseating hearing me saying that, but they're going to keep hearing it. And it's, um, you know, fortunately, you know, the other guys at the end did, did a decent job to Gus and, and Bush came in and, you know, did the job. I mean, Bush gave up a homer, but it was, a you know, ambush solo shot. So what? Uh, but we can't defend the walks. That's the one thing, especially when we have a one run lead, you know, in the sixth inning. It seemed like Kohei set a really good tone, you know, working quick, defense was engaged. What were your observations of his outing? And it seemed like, too, a, a, a break here or there in the fifth could have changed everything. Yeah, no doubt. I, yeah, I mean, he really should have only given up two runs. You know, Leody lost that ball in the sun. Um, I thought he did great, honestly. Like, great for a first time, you know, ever in the major leagues. Goes out, looked like he was completely under control. You know, the fifth inning, you got to give up a homer to Taylor. I thought it was a decent pitch, to be honest with you. It was good hidden by Taylor. That's always been kind of his weakness at the top of the zone. Um, got to give him credit on that one. Uh, but overall, I thought he did fine, honestly. He kept the ball on the ground, kept him off balance. Um, you know, for a first outing in the major leagues, you know, gave us a chance to win a game. Offensively, it seemed like you know, things started out strong. Did you see a change in approach as the game went on? No, I think it's, you know, they, they obviously have some decent arms. And when you're typically when you're when you're losing games, you're seeing the best of their arms. You know, they're going to put their best arms out there. And you, know, you see Stamont throwing 100 miles an hour at the end of the game. You know, I thought our best were fine. Um, you know, we got off to, to, to a good start against Mikey. And our lefties, you know, gave him a ton of trouble. Um, Mikey, when he's good, you know, it's tougher on righties a lot of times, you know, just because the ball's coming in and away from you. Uh, for lefties, you know, they can kind of stay out of the plate on them, which we did. You know, Dahl hit the, the double to left and Joey the homer. Um, but there were some good things, obviously, offensively. Two outs, nobody on and in the fourth, and we ended up getting two runs. Um, those are things that we're, we've been talking about a lot. So, uh, you know, anytime you fall behind, you lose momentum. And that's why it's so important, you know, to maintain that lead. And, and for us on the offensive side, to, to put more runs on the board when we have the lead um, so we don't allow those things to happen. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Um, it, it, on, on Thursday and, and then also today, there's been a couple defensive miscues that um, I, I, don't, I don't know how you characterize Leody's bad luck there, but it just seems like maybe clean that up a little. That needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, there was a few plays. Obviously, the you know the bunt today. I know when Arahar was pitching, it was it was a good bunt by Lopez, but that's one that we you know we should defend. Whether Solak kind of maintains his ground, um, we got burned by it the other day. You know, same situation with Cody. Um, you know, Leo, That's that, there's not much you can do on that play um, except for fight it. It looked like it was right at the last second that he lost it, too. Um, but, yes, we do. We obviously take a lot of pride in our defense, and, you know, we got to clean those things up, and we're going to have to, if, obviously, if we want to win games. All right. Thanks, Chris. Chris Halleck. Everybody, uh, did you contemplate um, putting Kohei back out for the sixth inning at all? Yeah, of course. I, I think that's always kind of running through your mind. But, um, you know, five innings, like I said, should have been two runs. You know, he started to get hit a little bit in that fifth inning. Um, you know, I know that it's it's a lot of emotion, you know, pitching in the major leagues for the first time. I didn't want to – there's no risk there. Like, he did his job. And I think that, you know, I kind of wanted to limit him anyways today. Um, just get his – you know, obviously get his feet wet. If I try to push it right there and, you know, maybe the same thing happens and it turns into, a, you know, a tough outing or a bad outing, I wanted him to – you know, obviously he did his job. He gave us a chance to win a game um, and, and limited that. Uh, the decision to go to Spores and then King, was that mainly because of the seven pitchers you used on Thursday? They were the only two that didn't give up any runs? No, I think they, they match up well. They match up well with them. And, and Spores is a good matchup, especially for the middle of their lineup, um, you know, just with his stuff. And if he executes, you know, he get those guys out. Um, but he obviously, you know, fell behind and, the leadoff walk, I think, was was the key to that whole that whole inning, and you know, put him on the defensive a little bit. 
Um, they, you know, it was just a soft line drive by Perez, you know, ambushed him. And then the, the, the walk to Soler is kind of the topper. And that's why I had to, obviously, I felt like I had to go get him. Like, you know, King's obviously a decent matchup, typically gets a lot of ground balls. Got a little bit unlucky on some of them today, but you know, the first couple guys got him. Uh, the left on left hit him pretty hard. But um, it's one of those things where it's a good matchup, but we got to execute. We got to go out and execute. You can't, you know, just because it's the best matchup doesn't mean it's always going to work out. We, our guys got to go out and, you know, make pitches. All right. Thank you, Woody. Uh, Levi. With Tavares, is it one of those situations where if this happened in the middle of July, nobody would notice, but because it's the first two games, the struggle is more evident or is he struggling as, as much as it sort of feels? No, I think the first game was obviously a tough one for him, you know, with the four, with the four punch outs today, he actually almost hit a homer and should have had a hit in his last at bat. So, you know, if he's two for four right there with a triple, I don't think anybody's saying a word. So it's one of those things where, you know, he had a couple of good at bats today. I felt like, um, put some good wood on it. Um, and that's those, those things, obviously when they ask, it's kind of like Eli last year, you know, it took him a long time. He hit, he hit the ball hard and didn't get any hits. So listen, I mean, there is a little bit of struggle there, but I think today was a better day. You know, two of his at bats were really good and two of the bats, you know, were just okay. Um, didn't have good results. So, I mean, we'll obviously go back and uh, hopefully just continue to gain some momentum, you know, from his last at bat uh, into tomorrow. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Evan. Um, how do you, uh, this team's first few games have gone about as badly as could, could possibly happen. Um, big leads lost guys haven't been able to get out of innings. What do you do? I, I don't want to say, what do you do, but does it, does it ramp up pressure early in the season to like not let this thing get out of control real quickly? I mean, listen, we, we got to, we got to win a game tomorrow. I mean, that's what we're going to, we're going to go in, whether we won the first two games, we're going to have the same mentality. We're going to go and win a, win a baseball game. Um, we got to learn from our mistakes and we got to, you know, have dialogue about it, which we did today, you know, about the first one. Um, no, the sky's not falling, Evan. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's going to be another team in baseball that's 0-2. Yeah. Did it go the way we wanted to? Absolutely not. We want to win every game. Um, but we're going to have the same dialogue. You know, we're going to figure out things out and, you know, have discussions as a group, figure out how to get better the next time. Um, we got to, we just got to, we obviously have to play better. We have to pitch better. Um, but we have to like learn from our mistakes and, and not make them again. I think that's the key to this whole thing. There's a long season left. We still got 160 games. Um, so I'm not going to have panic and doom, you know, after only two games.